It says Wallace's Cross at Rob Royston on the edge of Glasgow. The cross commemorates the capture on the 5th of August 1305 of William Wallace. He was taken prisoner at around 12 o'clock midnight in a cottage or barn very close to this site. The English troops that captured him were under the command of Sir John Menteith. It's not certain who betrayed William Wallace. One version has it that the owner of the barn, one Ralph or Rab Ra, after whom Rob Royston is named, was responsible. Another version has it that Jack Short, his personal servant, betrayed him. The reason being that at some point Wallace had killed his brother, so it was an act of revenge. The third suggestion is that it was a John Halliburton who is known to being captured but released from jail and that a sum of money was paid to him by Edward I for spying on William Wallace. Not far from this site is Wallace's well, where he said to have taken his last drink before capture. It was at Wallace's well where his faithful friend Curly was killed. The cross here was erected in 1900 and the ceremony had over a thousand people in attendance. The cross itself was unveiled by a descendant of this Curly. The cottage or barn in which William Wallace had been captured was demolished around 1826. The foundations could be seen for some time after. It's likely that the foundations still lie in the field with trees slightly to the east of the cross. Also at the site is a bench. This is modelled on a chair held at Balagown Castle in Russia which was said to be the property at one time of William Wallace.